Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are back with another Computex video. Today we are going to be looking at products from Zalmem. Uh, the first new products that they are coming out with um, is a new line of coolers. They use this um, four-dimensional cooling design is what they're calling it. Well, four-dimensional corrugated fin design to be specific. Uh, it's not actually four-dimensional. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Um, so, but, uh, and I will get on to what it actually means, uh, in a second, uh, but these coolers are named the CMP-16X, or CMP-S-16X, CMP-S-17X and the CMP-S-20X. Names are a little bit weird, hard to say. Uh, I think they should probably go with, like, names that are not just a bunch of letters and numbers, <laughs> but, um, it's alright. So the 17X is made up of five nickel-plated copper heat pipes with a mix of copper, um, and aluminum fins. I mean, at least from what I can tell, based on the way it looks and based on the materials on the sheet. But anyways, um, the 4D design essentially means instead of having all the heat sink uh, fins just flat, they're sort of like corrugate, bent in like a corrugated way. Um, this sort of helps the uh, heat air to catch the airflow a little bit better. I mean, I'm not sure if it really helps too much, but it may actually improve performance a little bit. The cooler has a single 140 millimeter spider fan with RGB down the spokes of the fan. Uh, it's a very interesting design for a fan. Uh, and the 20X uh, is basically a dual teller version of the 17X, but it has six heat pipes. Uh, pretty much everything is exactly the same. So the CNP 16X, while it has a very, very similar name, is very different from the previous coolers in that it has you know, four heat pipes and a large shroud covering the cooler. The cooler is available in both black and white um, and has an RGB element on the top and RGB around the fan. Zalman is also coming out with some of the new fans as I mentioned earlier on the coolers. They are called the SF120 and SF140. Um, these feature a very, very interesting design. They have, um, instead of you know a normal like fan frame, they have a sort of like X spider frame design, sort of like the deep cool uh, RF I think is what the fans are called, but um, essentially uh, these mean that the fan can sort of suck air in from around the sides. Um, it also has a really interesting, unique look, but the downsides of this mean that it has a lot of low status, uh, low static pressure and can only be mounted in one direction. Nevertheless, these fans feature an advanced fluid dynamic bearing with uh, 1500 RPM, at 28 decibels for the 120 millimeter and two, uh, 1200 RPM at 26 decibels for the 140 millimeter. Uh, Zalman is also releasing a new line of uh, liquid coolers, the uh, Reservator 5. These share a very similar design with the SF series fans on the pump design, include some of the fans on the radiator. These coolers uh, feature an anti leak bladder system, just like Deep Cools. Uh, this allows them to get rid of pressure and prevent leaking in that form. Uh, the pump features Zalman's new dual blade design, which I have no idea what the hell that means, but uh, it, they say that it improves cooling performance, uh, so we'll have to take their word for it. These will be available in 240, 360, and 280 mm sizes, and also have a black or white color scheme, depending on which one you want. They're also showing off their Z machine cases. I don't have much info about these, but they do look pretty cool, so keep an eye out for that. Aside from that, they have two more normal RGB fans. These are the LF120 and um, RDF120A. The LF fans have a top RPM of 1300, an EBR bearing, and a 32 decibel noise level. The RDF120A uh, features a fluid dynamic bearing and uh, range from 18, uh, or, sorry, 8000 to 1500 RPM. They have a max DBA of uh, 25.6 decibels. So that's it for the Zaman booth. There are a couple more products there, but I covered most of the interesting ones. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and you know, let me know what you think of the products in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.